Gail and welcome back to LowCarbRecipeIdeas.com. It's been crazy around this household. We're so busy, but I'm really trying to keep up with everything. And one thing I found was that I had so many commitments going on, I wasn't home much, and I was eating garbage and um, putting on the weight little by little. So I thought, okay, i got to nip it in the butt and I went into induction, which is, I usually follow Atkins for the induction program where I eat 20 carbs or less and I try to get myself into ketosis so that I can lose weight. So I just wanted to point this out to you. Here's um, the bottle uh, ketone sticks that you use. The, I got them at Shoppers and they were nine and change, so probably about $11 with our taxes. And um, I just got finished using it because I wanted you to see what happens when you're in ketosis, it turns color, and then you have your chart here. So I'm definitely in ketosis. And while I'm in induction, I find that I still want some kind of sweets. So I'm going to make a low-carb mini cheese um, cupcake or, or tart or a little cheesecake. Um, just they're small, they're bite-sized, the carb count is very reasonable and it's acceptable in, in induction. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make them. So in my bowl I've got um, two and a half packages of Philadelphia cream cheese or cream cheese and each package is 250 grams. So I've left it out in room temperature um, just so that it warms them up, makes them softer and then I have three eggs that I have in the bowl here which has been out for room temperature. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to mix the uh, cream cheese up. I'm going to add in the three room temperature eggs and we're going to blend this all together. So I've got that all nice and smooth, the eggs and the cream cheese. So now I'm going to put in half a cup of half and half and I'm going to put a quarter cup of sour cream in. And I'm going to have to use my spatula here to get it all out. So we're going to blend this all together and then we're going to add some flavors and we're going to be almost done. So I've got that all nice and smooth, the eggs and the cream cheese. So now I'm going to put in half a cup of half and half and I'm going to put a quarter cup of sour cream in. And I'm going to have to use my spatula here to get it all out. So we're going to blend this all together and then we're going to add some flavors and we're going to be almost done. Let's put a teaspoon of vanilla in it and a teaspoon of lemon juice. And then I've got a half a cup of xylitol. So we're going to mix this together. There we go. It's got a nice flavor. And you don't have to use um, xylitol, you can use erythritol. Or if you would like to use stevia, it's up to you what you want to use for the sweetener. But I just really wanted to make this recipe because being an induction, I really have had the desire to have some sweets. So let's get my pan. So I've got my muffin tin here. And I'm using the silicone um, because I quite like it. So I'm going to just take a minute and I'm going to pour this mixture into a measuring cup and then I'll pour them into the silicone cups. So I didn't have enough silicone liners so I'm just using the paper liners on the, whoops, on the last ones. So I have a total of 
18 little cheesecakes that I'm going to be making. Now they're going to go into the oven at 325 for approximately 20 to 25 minutes. So here is my low carb induction mini cream cheesecakes. Um, a couple of them I had trouble getting them out so you have to be a little careful with, if you're using the silicone. But uh, most of them they came out quite nice. And if you want you could add a little more sweetener. I'm keeping it just mild. I just want a little bit of sweetness. I'm not going to go overboard. But I really really enjoy them. Great flavor. It would be really good with um, your fruit on, but because we're in induction, it's not a good idea. But um, when you're out of induction and you're just doing low carb, you could add some. So if you'd like to go to lowcarbrecipeideas.com, you could try this recipe and try some of my other ones. You take care and I'll see you soon. Bye now.